everyone, I am Janvi from Team Technocrats and today we are here to present our final year project before you. My team members include Akhil K. Joy, Jia Mariam Paul, Aisha Femi PC and me myself Janvi. We have done this project under the supervision of Ms. Sri Lakshmi, Assistant Professor EC Department FISAT. Our project name is IoT based Smart Sewage Worker Safety System. As we all know, cleanliness is one of the most important issues prevailing in our society today. And the process of cleaning and maintaining the sewages of our country also helps to keep our society neat and clean. But the process of unblocking and cleaning the sewages have led to many accidental deaths of workers. So, the main objective of our project is to help prevent the sudden accident of sewage workers and also to keep our society neat, clean, safe and healthy. By detecting the condition inside the sewages of our country, it can be helpful to prevent the sudden accidental deaths of sewage workers by detecting the conditions inside the sewages and taking earlier precautions. Now, let's have a look into our project. Hi everyone, coming to our project, our proposed methodology is based on IoT which helps to save the life of workers while entering into the sewage manhole and also to keep the society clean. Let's see how our project works. Here, the Northern Sea takes inputs from the sensors employed in our project which includes the water flow sensor, the float sensor the gas sensor and the temperature sensor. A level of water, temperature and gas is already set inside the Dodham sieve. When any of the sensor exceeds the value set, it notifies the system. The sensors are placed below the sewage manhole and is connected with the GSM so that alert can be sent in the form of notification. Additionally, an emergency button is added. When the button is pressed, the device sends emergency notification. Now we can see the software part of our system. Hello everyone, my name is Aisha and I am a team member of Team Technocrat. Our project is Smart Sewage Safety Worker System. So as mentioned earlier, we are implementing our safety system using Node MCU and four different sensors. So we have classified the system into two parts that is the transmitter side and the receiver side. So in the transmitter side we have these four different sensors and also an emergency button. And in the receiver side we have the audio buzzer, the GSM module and the LCD display. So in this project we are using two transmitters in order to make a mesh system. So we have used a software called Eagle which is a scriptable electronic design automation application that is used to create perfect PCB layout. So we designed our transmitter and receiver layout by using the software Eagle and hence we printed out the PCB board. So after printing the PCB we did the soldering session and hence integrated all our sensors. So after that we have used the application called Proteus in which we designed and programmed for each sensors and later on in the Proteus application we have checked the working condition of each sensor. Hi, I am Agil Kejoy. We have actually discussed about the software part of our project. Now I would like to discuss about the hardware part of our project. In the hardware part, we have actually used two transmitters and one receiver. The transmitter include four sensors. These four sensors are the temperature sensor, the water level sensor, the water flow sensor and the gas sensor. I would like to show the hardware part of our project. This is the transmitter 1, this is the transmitter 2, in the transmitter 2 we have integrated 4 sensors and the first sensor is the temperature sensor, the second sensor is the gas sensor, the third one is the water flow sensor and the last one is the water level sensor. This is the receiver part of our hardware which include the LCD display and also a GSO. Now I will show the working of our hardware section. In the LCD display we can see the temperature and also the water flow inside the sewage. 
when the temperature goes beyond the threshold value the gsm will send a message to the communication department when the pressure inside the water flow increases that will be noted in the uh, lcd display when the water flow inside the sewage increases an emergency sound will be produced in addition to that an emergency button is given in both the transmitters when a sewage worker is inside the sewage he can use the emergency button and a message will be sent to the communication department that the sewage worker is in danger